this video we're going to have a look at putting the cladding on the roof. To do this, we're going to go to the architecture tab and we're going to do roof by extrusion. OK, and um, we will pick a plane to work off. There we go. Just click that. All right. And we can click on the structural framing of our steel beam by there and say level roof. That's fine. OK, now make sure you get the roof construction that you want. And then I'm going to use the pick lines option and I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to pick the top of our um, steels by there, our roof purlins. All right. And then I'll use the trim command and join those together. And then down on this side down here, I'm just going to draw outwards 250. And then up to just up there. And I'll do the same on the other side. I'll be deleting some of these lines in a bit, but that just gives me a finish point to do this with the trim again. There we go. And I'll do the same on that one over to there. And then I'll get rid of the bits I don't want. That's it. OK, so that gives me the roof. All right, now we've got level offset zero at the moment, so we'll just leave that there and we'll press the tick for now. So as we can see, it's sat right down by there. So our roof thickness is 206, is at a slight angle, so I'll just say 210 and see what that looks like in the offset. And then zoom in, and I think that's pretty good. I could perhaps change it to 209 if I want to just to try and be a little bit more precise. And there we go, that sat on there quite nicely. So that puts the roof cladding on there. We'll look at that in 3D, spin it around. Okay, so we can see it's going side to side of the building with flush on each side. So the extrusion start, I'll give it an overhang of 300 and I'll increase that extrusion end by 300 as well. So now that we can see it overhangs by 300 on either side of the building and it is sat on top of the roof purlins.